Just a second. Okay. Carl, just a just a one, two, just a real good, real good, thank you. Yeah, if I could get the driver to talk more, it'd be better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But that was all. Coming up the mountain today, were there any spots where you just couldn't see as well as you'd like? No. You get that every once in a while, but you just follow him up ahead. That's all you can do. You're one guy who always has a leader to follow. <laughs> At times. Mr. Putoff, now, how difficult is it to get these huge blades up on top of a mountain like Howard's Knob? Well, of course, we are yet to do it, so we uh, don't know exactly how difficult it is, but we've been down on the roads measuring them, and we think that we'll be able to do it uh, with uh, not too much difficulty. Uh, this has been really possible because we have a steerable dolly like you have on a fire truck in which we can go around corners by uh, actually steering the back end along with the front end. In addition, we're going to have a crane and if we can't get around the corner, the crane will pick up the back end and simply uh, turn it or move it over and get it around the corner. Now you had told me something the other day on the phone I wish you'd repeat about how what's been built so far isn't new but what when you're putting windmill blades up. You can count on the wind increasing in, in, uh, in magnitude as you're doing and and nobody's written a book about this No, yet. there's no book written. We would have, in fact, when we first got into this program uh, back in 73, uh, there was a wind turbine in this country built in New England on Grandpa's, uh, I think it was Grandpa's knob, yes. 
and uh, that was a Smith Putnam machine. And they had blades about uh, 170 foot in diameter. Ours are 200 foot in diameter. We talked to their engineers, those that were still living and whatnot, of their problems. And they had similar problems going up a hill like uh, Howard's Knob, in which they had to go around switchbacks. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but, but, but for you and the other fellows who are working on this project, this is really all new, actually, yes, putting up these yes. We have put up uh, other machines, but they're smaller. We have uh, 200 kilowatt machines that uh, NASA Lewis has, but they're smaller, yes. And there are a lot of those are on flat land. This one's the first one we put up on a, a knob or a mountain, and it, it, there's no question there are many problems associated with it, and uh, there'll be some, some uh, anxiety, anxious moments. I guess you need a lot of skill, but some luck, too. You need luck by all means. And right now with the rain out there, we don't need that. <laughs> okay.